In this video, we'll be talking about prescription drug coverage, also called Medicare Part D. We'll cover the different ways you sign up, and we'll also explain what to expect when it comes to out-of-pocket costs. That part can get a little complicated, so we'll break it all down for you. Let's get started. As you may already know, your original Medicare provided by the federal government consists of Part A and Part B. That coverage will typically pay for the prescription drugs you get as an inpatient in the hospital or those administered to you in a clinic. But what about the prescription drugs you take at home? Turns out they are usually not covered. But don't worry, there are two different ways you can get your prescription drug coverage, and they're pretty easy. One option is to stay with original Medicare and sign up for a standalone Medicare Part D prescription drug plan, PDP for short, or option two is to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan that includes parts A and B, along with the Medicare Advantage prescription drug plan, MAPD for short. And just to keep things simple, we'll use the general term Medicare prescription drug plans to cover both types for this video's purposes. If you go the Medicare Advantage route, also called Part C, you'll be getting your original Medicare benefits through a private insurance company that contracts with Medicare. It's an all-in-one plan that usually has prescription drug coverage, but always make sure to check because some plans don't include it. Whichever type of plan you decide is best for you, you can sign up when you're first eligible for Medicare. If you don't enroll then, you can only sign up during certain enrollment periods. We have a separate video about that. Part D out-of-pocket costs can be a little complex, so let's break them down into pieces that are easy to digest. Like a donut. This is a simple way to show how your costs will change depending on which phase you're in. Let's take a closer look and define each of these phases. First, there's the annual deductible phase. Some plans require a monthly plan premium and some do not. But no matter what, you must continue to pay your Medicare Part B monthly premium. As you know, prescription drugs can be very expensive. Medicare has certain protections in place to keep you from spending an unlimited amount of money. In the first coverage phase of the year, you might pay the full cost of your prescriptions until you meet your plan's annual deductible amount. Medicare sets a maximum Part D deductible every year. That means your Medicare Part D plan can charge no deductible at all, or a smaller amount than the max, but no more than Medicare's maximum amount. Be aware that if you have an MAPD, the deductible amount for the prescription drug part of your coverage may be different from your overall plan deductible. Once you've met your annual deductible, you'll continue to pay coinsurance or co-pays as you buy your medications. Coinsurance is a percentage of the cost of a prescription drug. Co-payments are fixed dollar amounts that you pay toward the cost of a medication. If you and your plan have spent a certain amount on covered prescription drugs, you reach the initial coverage limit and enter the phase called the donut hole or coverage gap. It used to be that Medicare Part D plans could charge you more money for your medications during this phase. But as part of the Affordable Care Act of 2010, this gap gradually closed. You might not ever reach this phase. It depends on how many medications you take and how much they cost through your plan. So to get you into the donut hole, Medicare counts what your plan spends on your medications as well as your co-pays and co-insurance. Your deductible and certain other prescription drug costs might count. So ask your plan for details. What doesn't count is any monthly plan premium you pay or the cost of any prescription drugs that your plan doesn't cover. If your Part D out-of-pocket spending reaches a certain limit that Medicare sets, you'll enter the catastrophic coverage phase. Again, you might never get to this point, but if you do, it's another built-in protection Medicare has put in place to protect you from limitless drug costs. If you reach the catastrophic phase, you'll only pay a small amount for your covered prescriptions until the end of the year. Then, the coverage phases start over again at the beginning of the next year. Remember, you won't have to worry about the donut hole and catastrophic coverage phases if your prescription costs are below the Medicare limits we talked about. Okay, that's how Medicare Part D costs work. There is another potential Medicare Part D cost you should know about, and that's the Part D Late Enrollment Penalty. 
We have another video about that, and it also talks about Part D enrollment periods. I sure hope this video has helped. Thanks for watching.